Hi everyone, today we're going to be showing you how to put this indicer into service mode. Now, the following will apply for any indicer or hot point with a program selector null. Obviously it won't work for buttons. Now, the first thing I do, because it doesn't work any other way for some reason, is turn the machine on and just twist the knob right the way around, leaving it at the 12 o'clock position, then turn it off and we're ready to proceed. That's not necessary, that's not part of the process, but for some reason, unless I do that, it just doesn't go into service mode. Before we proceed, make sure that the drum is completely empty and make sure the door is shut. So, the next process is pretty quick because you have to do it, you have to make the north movements while the lights are on, otherwise again, it won't go into service mode. So, on, one position to the right, off back to 12 o'clock, on, two positions to the right, off, back to 12 o'clock, on, drain and spin, off we go. Now I'll start by draining out any water in there. Now, we've got the valves testing, so pre-wash valve to start with, and I'll assume main one. Pre-wash again, main wash now. And finally softener. tumbling test. It would heat during this phase if you turn the temperature selector knob to, well any temperature, because I've got it on cold, instant drain. Now we'll do the spin.
that's it. That is the service mode. So you can actually go out of service mode by simply turning the program mode without even turning the machine off, which is something you can't do on other machines. So that's nice. A brief service mode, a longer spin than is necessary really for a service mode, in my opinion. But nevertheless, it tests all the components and I think it's more about motor speed control test, um, which is why it's so long. But nonetheless, simple service mode. Not the simplest way to get into it, especially when it took seven attempts to make this video to get into the service mode because you have to it has to start with the machine remembering one of the last position and you have to do you have to do the knob movements while the machines while all the lights are still on at the initial power up and then you have to turn it off afterwards it's all about time you have to time it right otherwise it just doesn't work and also the one the one time I was successful before this it gave F16 which isn't even an error for front loading indices. That's a drum locking, um, drum lock position sense error for the top loading machines. And this isn't supposed to be able to show that, but it does anyway. And it did the same thing when I unplugged the NTC to try and um, to try and get a proper boil wash. So I really don't understand indices logic sometimes. But anyway, enough said. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully it's helpful. If you liked it, then please leave a like. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.